Well, um, it is about two o'clock in the morning. I got up about an hour ago, so we been working for about an hour. It is one hour and 49 minutes into the day of uh, Thursday, December 11th, 2012. Yeah. We started yesterday late. And uh, that's what's happening today. We're starting again late. I'm uh, still having breakfast. You know, I'm doing work but uh, while well, I'm having my breakfast. But uh, I was sort of also doing my YouTube stroll. Uh, when I just have just I've gone by uh, Bertelli. Uh, I just finished watching uh, Clintus TV, his video. Uh, he commented and did in there that uh, uh, one of the things he doesn't like about uh, this time of year is that uh, at 6.30 in the evening it's dark outside. Uh, my, 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 a lot of people have, I know a lot of people have commented on that. Uh, not on his video, but uh, in, in general, people around me. And, uh, they, you know, the com uh, comment off comes back to me. Or the, the, the question often comes back to me, well, how do I feel about it? Well, the thing is, is that my, my day rotates. So I'm often up during the night and functioning during the night. So I don't really, uh, and in, in many cases, sleeping during the day. So it doesn't really mean anything to me anymore that it's dark out at 5.30 because uh, there, as I got up today at 1.30, or around 1.30 in the morning. And it was dark out. Uh, I'm gonna be going to bed. Uh, hopefully by nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, to give my body some little bit more rest. So I'll be going to bed when it's light out. And because it does get dark around, you know, five six o'clock in the evening. By six o'clock in the evening, it's dark out. When I get up to go to my parents' house for dinner, it's gonna be dark again. So uh, that's kind of where my rhythm is right now. So it's not necessarily, uh, uh, you know, that much of an issue to me. I mean, what, what happened yesterday that kind of uh, threw some of the uh, blogging out the window is I have to go food shopping. And I usually go to one place. Uh, but every once in a while, when certain supplies run low, the, this pl the usual area that I have covers most of the stuff. But there are certain things they don't cover, and I uh, had to go to a second place yesterday. <laughs> so, basically, rather than doing one hike, I went two hikes. Uh, it, was, it was a total of, was, well, a total of between five and six hours. It was a five, six hour hike. I left uh, at eight o'clock in the morning. And got back just a little after uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. So, uh, needless to say, uh, my whole body was sore, and I basically had something to eat afterwards, and then went right right to bed because my body was just so exhausted from the hike that I didn't have any the strength to go any further. So. Uh, I'm just getting up. I'm gonna, it's going to take me a few days to recover from uh, yesterday's hike. Uh, but uh, I seem to be able to handle everything on schedule. Things to be, seem to be moving along. Uh, I'm just uh, finishing up some notes for the next uh, IMO vlog, which will be on feminism. And I'm also going to be finishing the uh, notes for the news, uh, which will be done tomorrow. So, yay for that. I think everything is going well enough that, uh, uh, you know, even when I'm tired, you know, in, in, in an emergency mode, I can get the work done. So, uh, we'll see uh, this week how much I can get done. Let's see if I can get a little bit more than I did last week. And if I can do that, then uh, we might be on we might be on to something new, uh, you know, adding some more stuff in. Anyways, I think that's about it for now. I'm going to leave this here, and I will see you in the next segment of the BTS vlog. I'll try, I'm, going to, I'm trying to vlog more, th more throughout the day, but if my body is exhausted from, 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 uh, from walking, from hiking the way it is, then that's simply not possible. So uh, we'll have to deal with it as it comes along. Anyways, see you in the next segment of the BTS vlogs. Alrighty, it is the day after um, 
Oh, right, there it's not even 12 hours after I started the vlog. Uh, it was, uh, I think it was uh, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning I, I started the vlog on December 11th. It's now uh, 22 hours and 6 minutes into the day of uh, Thursday, December 2nd, December 11th, 2014. This is the second vlog of the day. Is and it's been a bizarre day because the fatigue, the muscle soreness from uh, yesterday's hike, the uh, four or five hour hike is starting to set in. My muscles are rather sore, and I've been up and down all you know, awake asleep, awake asleep all day long. So there really hasn't been a uh, a a, a, uh, a standard structured day. And so that kind of throws things off a little bit. Uh, I have done, I have started my uh, daily YouTube stroll. I always start at Bataley Move. Uh, I go, I go in an order, like a, like sort of. Oh, excuse me, the neighbor list. So it's Bataley first. Then there's uh, Kitty's Mama. Kitty's Mama only does things once a week. Sometimes they put other stuff up, but I go by there to see if they do more than once a week. If not, I move on to Clintus, and then there's a whole list uh, further on down. So Clintus is basically uh, my second or third stop, depending, of depending on whether or not Katie's mom actually has something up that uh, uh, that day. If they have something up, then I'll watch Katie's mom. If not, then it's directly on to uh, Clintus TV as my uh, sort of my YouTube stroll. And then on out, I have a whole, I think I have like uh, 20 or 30 stops I go on. Uh, sometimes I get up to 12 or 15. Uh, that's my usual, but sometimes if I have extra time, I will get out to 30. It really depends on how much time I have during the day. If I've got a lot of work here on the research desk, and I'm spending long hours doing this, then I'll get through a large number of, uh, uh, of uh, YouTube, vi YouTube stroll vi visits. But if I don't have a lot of work here, there's a lot of editing work to be done or filming work to be done. And that's what happens. Uh, I have uh, two hours of filming tonight later on. Uh, then um, uh, I don't get through. I usually get through about 12 visits on my, on my on, uh, when there's a lot of filming that has to be done. And uh, we're going through the, uh, it's, I think it's the first blizzard of the year. Well, the first major blizzard anyway. There's, there's a lot of snow on the ground. Uh, traffic stopped, uh, and they're out plowing the streets right now, so, uh, kind of snowed in. But not badly snowed in, sorry about that again, you know, just, well, these long walks knock me out. Well, five hours, I don't, I, I don't know how you are with, with, with hiking, five hours, whether or not five hours would wipe you out, but, uh, five hours, uh, with a full backpack, uh, and it's about, on average, it's about 50, 50 pounds in the back, the backpack. Uh, for five hours, my body is rather sore, so. Um, I think I'm going to leave it here. Because, um, uh, my eyes are starting to close. And I'll be back again probably around 2 o'clock in the morning to start the next batch of work. And that's uh, finishing up the scripts. Uh, that I have to do uh, for the news broadcast and for another IMO vlog. I'm also going to try to work on some, bring some other content in as well, but uh, uh, it really depends on how the night goes, uh, uh, how it progresses, and if it goes well enough, then uh, I'll be able to do, bring in some more work, bring in some more filming, and we'll have extra content for the weekend. Anyways, I will see you in a couple hours. See you in the next segment of the BTS vlog. Take it easy. Well, hello everybody. Yeah. It's time for another segment of the BTS vlog. It is just about 3.15 in the morning, 3.15 a.m., and I'm back at the research desk. 
Let's see, it's 3 hours and 14 minutes into the day of Friday, December 12th, 2014. And I just arrived at the Shade Tarts. I'm on my YouTube stroll for the day. I have uh, a fair amount of uh, work to do uh, to finish up the scripts for the next edition of the news, which will go up on which will go up later today on Friday, and a the next edition for uh, IMO vlog. So uh, those are both being worked on. The scripts are more or less done. They just simply have to be finalized and then shot later on today, edited, and then uploaded. And fortunately, I've got two machines uh, that will handle the uh, editing. Uh, so I expect to get to the news by 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, that means it can get on to uh, rendering uh, around 6. But it won't be done rendering until about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Then it goes up from there on out. Uh, that's as fast as I can do it because it does take uh, uh, six to seven hours to do the rendering and that's kind of what pushes the uh, timeline out. But I am getting more used to uh, putting the scripts together, putting um, uh, the uh, the show together. So I think things will come, go smoother and I'll be able to get ahead of the curve a little bit more. Uh, it's always hard I think, that, that the editing time is what really throws the curve into things. And uh, that means <sighs> you have to, the news isn't necessarily going to be timely in terms of breaking news and watching what's going on all the time. It's not going to be CNN. But what you are going to get is analysis that you're not going to get anywhere else. And that's what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming to do not the standard thing, but something different. We get very go into in depth into what's going on behind the scenes, behind the scenes, peeling back the layers and figuring out what is going on in the world of global, global diplomacy. How does it work? How does foreign relations work? Uh, and if you're interested in this stuff, stuff, this is the, the show that you'll be interested in. It'll be uh, INN's uh, headlines and beyond. Uh, I will be uh, as of uh, next week uh, starting to work on some documentaries for INN. Uh, and I think these a lot of these channels are documentary oriented. A lot, this is where we're going. We are going to be doing a lot more documentaries, and so you're going to start seeing this progress as we move uh, from uh, a bits and pieces show into more of a uh, uh, a research a, re uh, a, a research a documentary uh, style channel. And this is, yeah, th this is not going to be for everybody. This is not going to be uh, your standard teenage channel where a lot of people are. are all right, jumping up and down, oh, oh, how cute you are and whatever. This is going to be more in depth. This is going to be for people who would like something uh, uh, actually significantly more in depth than what you normally get from uh, documentary channels. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to be necessarily be a walk in the park. In other words, uh, I've had people comment who are significant. Uh, uh, they do research on their own. They are all on the PhD level and above. Uh, and they've watched the program. And they they really like the programs I'm putting out, but but they found it in many cases to be a little heavy. I mean, in other words, in other words a, a researcher found the show a little heavy in terms of the content. But this is this is it. I don't want to dumb the stuff down. I don't want to sort of you know uh, dumb it down for you. What I want to encourage you to do is that as you keep watching, <sighs> the more you watch, the more you'll understand. In other words, you don't have to understand everything in the beginning. It's the incremental. Uh, understanding the the accrued understanding that is important, not the instantaneous, not the immediate understanding that is important. So, uh, that being said, uh, I think it's time to get on with the day. Uh, we have had, we've had our first major snowfall of the season, and they're plowing outside right now. So I got to wait till that hap that finishes, then I can go do the news. Uh, but I still got to finish up some of the script work here. Uh, I'm still working on the, th the opening theme to uh, uh, Headlines and Beyond. I've got an idea <sighs> Sorry, of what I want, but <laughs> we'll see how it ends up working out. I've got, I said, I got the ideas. Now it's a matter of sitting down and putting it together. All right, take it easy. I will see you in the uh, next segment of the BTS Vlogs. All right, take it easy. Oh, I'm up. Let me just fix you guys up here for a minute here. There we go. 
Oh, sometimes you get off kilter. Let's see here. When we when are we starting? We are starting at 23 hours and 37 minutes into the day of Friday, December 12th, uh, 2014. Yay. We are getting two vlogs in per day, which is good. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's kind of the goal here is to start vlogging more throughout the day rather than, uh, uh, you know, just once. And we're getting there. Uh, the, the amount of work that is getting done is improving. Uh, the amount of videos being shot during the week is improving. Uh, so everything is going up. It's just that it's really tiring and uh, sometimes uh, it's hard to push the boundary. Well, it's always hard to push the boundaries, not sometimes. It's always hard to push the boundaries and sometimes you end up slacking off and sort of not doing everything you should be doing, you know, in terms of moving at the pace you intend to move at. But as long as you're moving forward, then that's what counts. So uh, even with the lags, uh, the end of the day result is I'm moving forward, so that's a good thing. Uh, what's next? Uh, I'm going to start doing my YouTube stroll, and I'm also going to finish up some of the notes that I've got to do for, for more videos. Uh, so that's basically the way it is. It's take Do your notes, which are basically your show notes. Uh, do the research notes that are needed for behind them as well for other show notes. Then uh, film them, and that's the uh, kind of daily cycle here. And so that's what I got to do. Is, and, and while I'm doing that, I do my YouTube stroll, and I go by and I see all my uh, my uh, uh, YouTube neighbors that I have on my that list that I like to go see, go by and see. And that's uh, Bertelli, Clint, Shay, uh, Mummy, and Gracie. You know that that whole list there. They uh, there's a whole list of them. Uh, that I go by on a regular basis uh, to uh, to see, and they're not always they're not always the uh, so-called if you call them. I, I mean, Clintus, uh, Bertelli, Shay, um, even Mommy and Gracie to a certain degree, uh, their parents doing the work for the kids. The, the, it's, the, it's the it's the parents doing the work for the kids. Uh, there are some channels that go by, like Jazzy P, uh, that I go by, that these channels, I like these channels too, Jazzy P and Swim Love Peace, uh, these channels aren't done by the parents, they're done by the kids, and so you're seeing the kids work from start to end without seeing necessarily seeing the parents involved in this at all. So the parents aren't necessarily involved, they're not doing the filming. This is being done by uh, the kids themselves. It's one person It's one person operation. And they do a very good job at it. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm as happy with uh, J uh, Jazzy Peace uh, and Swim Love Peace channel as I am with, uh, uh, as I am with uh, Bertelli, Clintus, or Shea. And the other one that's like, like it's called Rose Baby, and she, she said they all have they all have they're all having the same vlogger problems that every every vlogger encounters. Um, you know, they're trying to keep on schedule. Uh, something always ha something always happens that they're not always on schedule. So you know, they have the film an apology video, and this is kind of the way this is kind of the way the vlogger life goes is that you try to do. Uh, as much as you can, or what you think your audience would like, but inevitably you fall behind. Uh, you apologize, and, and so you end up apologizing, or because you miss certain days that you should be vlogging. At the same time, is that you uh, also see uh, uh, you also see uh, them uh, trying to also apologize, and because sometimes the camera's not so good, because well, well, what kid is going to be able to afford a nice DSL? So, uh, they're using, a lot of times they're using the iPhone they got from the parents, or they're using some sort of, uh, 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 you know, like, like a laptop. They're not using uh, 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 full-size equipment, and that kind of presents a problem, because 
Uh, that, well, it does present a problem because uh, the quality of the equipment isn't there, so they have to apologize for it. But, but it does, the quality isn't necessarily all that important. And this is where, where I know a lot of people go, oh, yeah, quality is really important. Well, the content is important for vlogging. The content in vlogging is not how exciting it is. It's the character of the person. It's like, do you like hanging out with a person? If you like hanging out with a person, then the vlog is good. And so, in other words, vlogging is about personality. It's about your own personality. And it's, when you're vlogging, you're inviting a friend over. You're hanging out with them. And this is kind of what you need to learn as, you, as a vlogger, is you need to develop... <laughs> you need to develop your personality. You need to, you, the person who you are needs to come out, and, and the people who hang out with you on your vlog, who watch your vlog, uh, are hanging out because of your personality, not necessarily because of what, because of the things you do. And this is sort of the attraction to vlogs. This is what vlogging is really about. It's about personality, and uh, you know, and I think I, these, that's how I choose my vlogs. The vlogs I watch is not about the excitement. It's about the personality. Do I like the person I'm hanging out with? Uh, anyways, uh, that's an, that's it for today. Uh, or for now, anyway. It's not for today, because I'm going to be uh, vlogging more throughout the day now. So, uh, on to the next bit here. i got to start my, my, my YouTube stroll. i gotta start to, I got to take a look at the notes. i got to take a look at my email. Sort of do the uh, beginning of the day, st the beginning of the day stuff, even though it's, uh, yeah. Uh, quarter to midnight, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, 11.45 p.m. Uh, yeah. Anyways, see you in the next segment. Be prepared to have what you know challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Well, I've got some time to vlog. I sort of get that straightened up there. There we go. I've got some time to vlog. It's near the end of the day. It is uh, nine hours and 41 minutes into the day of Saturday, December 13th, 2014. Yeah, um, the week's going to end on a down note. Uh, I didn't get as much work as I thought I was going to get done. Part of the problem is the amount of research required to get uh, some of the shows going is rather complex. And the thing is, is that it's, it's not only finding the research, but you want to you want to sit down and f you want to figure out how you want to present the information that you want to present. In other words, presentation is almost as important as the information itself because that that depends on the how you present something really will either emphasize things that you want understood or it will be it will be completely glossed over and people won't understand what you're trying to say. In other words, there are levels of understanding that different people have and you want to try to aim things, uh, ideas at people uh, at different levels and how you present that will determine whether what you're doing is effective or not effective. And that's kind of how I want that, to, that's sort of the issue that's going on here. Uh, and it's, it's I, I write the, the show notes one way, I'll think of something later on, go back, rewrite it. And it does take a time to sort of sh to get the notes shaped together properly uh, so that I have something that's good to go forward with. And that's kind of what's uh, holding up the shooting uh, of uh, some of the videos that I'm working on. So... Uh, I think I've resolved the impasse. Uh, I am rather tired, though, so we'll see what ends up happening for the rest of the day. Because uh, it is going to be near the end of the day for me anyway, so <laughs> it's kind of an end-of-the-day vlog. Uh, so that's about it for now. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. I'm probably just going to look over my notes a little bit more. The Internet's down for now, so i got some time to kill. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I will see you in the next segment of the BTS Vlogs. Alright, take it easy and goodbye.
Well, hello everybody. Yep. As I said before, I'm gonna try this uh, new method of vlogging. That will allow you into my life a little bit more. It is 20 hours and 19 minutes into the day of Saturday, December 13th. 2014. I'm vlogging now because uh, I'm not exactly up here. It's, not, it's actually not the beginning of the day, but rather uh, middle of the night for me. Uh, I feeling a little peckish. Uh, I, I don't know. I woke up about a half hour ago. Uh, went to make some phone calls. Uh, and that's kind of the way. Th that's kind of the kind of the way things go for me. Is that. Uh, I wake up with something in my mind that has to be done. We're having a little bath and we're both at the same time, and then afterwards I just can't get back to sleep again. So I realize I'm feeling a little peckish. So I'm gonna get myself some cereal and have something to eat and watch a little Bratelli. So uh, that should. But I should do it. Um, this is kind of the way things go. Um, I don't sleep straight through the night. For some reason, even though my body would be tired enough, and I, my, does, my body does feel a little sluggish right now, and I'm sitting up like this, I'm a little tired, and when I go back to bed, though, if I lie down, I won't be able to go to sleep. So I'm tired up like this, but when I go lie down to go to sleep, I can't fall asleep. So, <laughs> and my mind keeps going. So, therein lies the problem sometimes, you know. Uh, can't turn my mind off. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for today. This is very, well, no, for this segment, anyways. Uh, it's not for today, but for this segment. Uh, it's going to be very short. Because I just wanted to let you know what was going on <laughs> and how things kind of work around here. All right, uh, take it easy, and I'll see you later. Hey, bye bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.